Tony D and Little Joan somewhere in the background, and this... Yeah, I don't know where she is. And this is a screenwriter's rant on Sanctuary. Oh, here she is. Hold on. There you go. Little Joan in the shot. <laughs> Sanctuary is about a uh, dominatrix and her client who have more than just a casual relationship. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 11 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So the premise of the film is the dominatrix and him have a relationship of sorts. And he becomes the CEO of a major corporation. He was already high up, I assume. And um, because she thinks that because she helped him in terms of releasing whatever he got off on during their sessions over the years, that she deserves half his salary. And she attempts to dominate him, I guess, into giving it up. And then he doesn't want to do that, and he wants to end their relationship. But she's recorded some of it, and now she won't give up the location of the uh, camera. The word sanctuary, the title of the film, is their safe word. So it, and it's mainly around two characters. Um, yeah, so it looks like the only two characters in the movie are Margaret Qualley and Christopher Abbott, written by Micah Bloomberg and directed by Zachary uh, Wygon. So this is a. A movie about status, ultimately. Um, so, it's about how can these two constantly cha exchange status during the course of the movie. So, maybe initially it shows us, you know, that he invites her over and you think, oh, she's a prostitute. But then it turns out she's a dominatrix and... She's calling the shots. But he's paying her, so really it's him. But then later, uh, you see how degraded she makes him feel. And she has influence over him. And then she's in charge. But then later, he decides to break it off. And he's in charge. But then she says no and pushes uh, his buttons. And, then she, and, you know, and it goes back and forth like that. So it could be interesting. Um, you know, from a, there's a, there's a hard, it's hard to make a two person drama like this, not feel like a play. And in some respects, it probably really is. Maybe it was originally a play. I don't know, but it is a good vehicle for, um, for low budget fare. Because look at all you've got. You've got um, you've got a sexy girl doing sexy things because she's a dominatrix. And here he's turned the tables on her and tied her up. I don't know if he thinks he's going to kill her or whatever. And uh, so it's a constant exchange of status as they as they vie to see who wins. So this one's going to be complicated because it's going to be. It's going to be very dialogue driven, uh, not action driven at all. So, or not really action driven because they're stuck in the same room. So the first act is uh, the dominatrix shows up and does her thing and humiliates them. And you think, oh, what a weirdo, whatever. And then they have sex and they have a good time. And then he's ready to say, you know, enough of this. We've been doing this a while. I just got promoted. I'm done. She turns the tables on him and says, you're not done. You're going to give me half your money or I'm going to expose you as the freak that you are. And then begins their battle. So the second act is their battle back and forth as they exchange status back and forth. And they keep up in the ante. She keeps trying to manipulate him. He keeps dragging her back to reality. No, I'm the one with the money. No, I'm the one with the power. Who wins at the end? 
Um, could be either one of them. They could both lose. They could both destroy each other. Or they could both stay in the relationship forever. I don't know. It could go a lot of different ways. Ultimately, the best ending, if you were to heighten it, it's all about her dominating him and him trying to not be dominated by her, essentially. He's used, who's used who is the question. I don't know. I, I guess I would end it maybe with um, both of them in a relationship that they're, that is doomed would be one way. Another way would be that they both end up killing each other. <laughs> that would kind of be the funniest way. I tend to go for the comedy. So I think the funniest way would be they escalate to the point where they're actually trying to kill each other. And then through various events that happened early in the movie, they accidentally end up killing each other, if not killing themselves, trying to kill each other in the process. And then they both they are kind of dead and that's the end of the movie. Um, one of them winning over the other, I'm not sure really works. I think it has to be a tie at the end because if she wins, it's kind of like giving it to women, giving the win to dominatrix. And it's like saying he was always dominated. He was never going to break that programming, giving it to him kind of says the opposite, like, okay, what did we really watch here if he could have just, you know, overcome this? Now, maybe that's a long journey for him to overcome the domination. But still, I, I would say the only way to end this is that it's kind of an even break. Either they both die or they both kind of have a happy ending or they both destroy each other's lives, but they, they survive, but their lives are destroyed. He's exposed, she's exposed, uh, something like that. Um, would I watch it? Mm, it's not really my kind of movie. It's a little too sexual for me. Um, you know, the whole dominate, dominatrix thing. I was just on a dating app earlier tonight and I was swiping through and there was some woman who was like, oh, I'm looking for a man to dominate me. And it was just, it's just weird. It's it, that whole diet paradigm doesn't really appeal to me. So I can't really relate to it all that well. Not really. So, it's not my kind of movie. Um, I did like Closetland, if you've ever seen that, which was uh, Andy McDowell and uh, 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 Alan Rickman. in a brilliant movie where they're basically in the same room the whole movie. Um, but this is sort of like that in that it's two characters mostly trapped in a room. That part of it's interesting. I mean, I guess for me... It would be a date movie, an art house movie, a fancy movie to take my date to and say, see, I watch fancy movies. <laughs> and then afterwards we talk about it. But to see it by myself, nah, probably not. All right, let's read the description. Follows a Dom and Hal, her wealthy client, and the disaster that ensues when Hal tries to end their relationship. So yeah, uh, unless they set it up that she's so crazy, it's really Hal overcoming her, maybe. So, yeah, I mean, if it was on VOD and I, and I heard it was great, maybe I'd watch it. Maybe. Eh, it doesn't look bad. Um, but I'm not into the whole, you know, there's probably going to be a lot of scenes of her bossing him around. And that, that, to me, would bore me after a while if it was too much of that. And I, I suspect there's going to be a lot of that as they kind of explore their wacky uh, dom-sub relationship and who's really in charge. I mean, that's part of the whole thing for people who are into that, who's really in charge. And then a lot of times the answer is really the sub is in charge because the sub, although subordinate to the dom is really calling the shots, is really manipulating things. So, could be interesting. I mean, it's definitely something that would be tough to write. I wouldn't write something like this. This is too much for me. But, uh, you know, it could be very interesting if you got the right writer on this. So, anyhow, that's it. Sanctuary. 
Uh, check it out. I don't know when. Doesn't say. Uh, I guess something on VOD or an art house movies within the next month or two. And that's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, Bit Shoot, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. I was at the Egg Harbor Township Library today. It was a great day. Thanks to all who came out. I uh, had a, a little talk about how to hunt the Jersey Devil, and it went very well. Sold some books. Tomorrow, I will be selling some books at Tyndall Brewery in Bordentown, New Jersey at 5.30 p.m. That's in Bordentown at a brewery. So there'll be beer and books. So I hope to see you there. Hope to see you tomorrow, and we'll see you next time.